It's a fantastic civil engineering job. 750 metres of new quay to take the biggest uh, container ships that are being built currently. The whole purpose is to give Felix Stowe a, a deeper uh, dock so that they can take the bigger ships. The project as a whole has, has required throughout um, close liaison with the other uh, port users. When we produced the construction management plan, part of that construction management plan uh, was all about the logistics of how we were going to bring, bring material and men into the works, how much noise we would make and how we would control dust. The company has made a lot of effort to keep the, the noise down because the whole Port of Felix is her neighbour. On a weekly basis we, we sit down with coordination between ourselves and Westminster. We've obviously also got a lot of floating kit on the water. The programme dictated that we would have to start the dredging first. We started off with the removal of, uh, of unsuitable material from this, uh, this whole uh, footprint area behind the key wall. Uh, there was uh, approximately 750,000 cubic meter uh, soft material to be removed. Removed the soft and started to build up the fill uh, in buns. This whole reclamation was built up in uh, several stages. The first mound was seven meters below, um, below chart datum and the, the bottom of the mound was uh, 14 meters below chart datum and uh, we started by producing this mound parallel inside the uh, inside the uh, the key wall and then we backfilled behind that uh, and then once we've done that we built another another mound in, in bund inside that uh, and then backfilled behind that once the fill has been placed is uh, vibro compaction it densifies the material and the sands and gravels are generally being uh, one offshore but we're also widening the channel one of the key elements to the project strategy which has had benefits to the um, client and ultimate cost savings and uh, the environmental impact of the job has been the reuse of materials. We are trying to make uh, beneficial, beneficial use of the uh, material, part of the material dredged from the widening. All surplus material uh, generated from the demolition and uh, ripping up of the existing port facilities has been put through the crusher and will go back into the works either as temporary crane platforms or permanent fill depending on uh, specification. We have two barges that are putting the tubular piles in. These things are 2.56 metres diameter and they're 38 metres long. They weigh just over 45 tonnes. They are seriously big. The crane barge then picks them up um, and then puts them vertically into the gates that, uh, that hold them in position temporarily. Um, they have to be placed very carefully to be in the right place because we're doing hits and misses. So we put, we put a pile in and miss a pile, put another pile in, miss a pile, put the next pile in, and then we come back and put the missed piles in between. The block paving that goes on top of the CVM, I mean, there's 18 million blocks. In order to get such a large quantity of blocks in there, mechanically laid, it's a very quick operation. We expect to lay about a thousand square metres every day. This is a particularly well controlled, tight construction sequence on, on all our parts, Westminster's and Costain's. We're very pleased with the way, the way things have gone. Look forward to phase two.